how a car works. A car is a collection of systems that generate power in an engine and transmit it to the wheels. Other systems allow the driver to control the car by turning the wheels to change direction and by applying brake force to either slow down or stop. Driving off A car is set in motion by a series of operations that generate power and transfer it to the driven wheels in a controlled way. Turning the ignition key or pressing the start button switches on a small battery-powered electric motor, which starts the car's piston engine. Inside the car The heaviest parts of a car are its engine and driveshaft, including its transmission. They are mounted low down in the car to improve stability, especially when cornering. Transmitting power The first fully automatic transmission was an optional extra on Oldsmobile cars in the US from 1940. A car's engine is linked to its wheels by a system of shafts and gears, collectively known as the drivetrain, which make use of the engine power in the most efficient way. Most cars have a two-wheel drive arrangement, in which either the two front wheels or two back wheels are driven by the engine. Off-road vehicles, which require more grip on unstable surfaces, have four-wheel drive, meaning all four wheels are driven directly by the engine. The engine A car's motion begins with its engine. Starting the engine ignites fuel and releases energy. This moves the pistons, which turn the engine's crankshaft. A flywheel attached to the crankshaft smooths out the power provided by the pistons. The clutch In a car with a manual transmission, when the car first starts, the driver must push the clutch pedal in to disconnect the engine from the wheels so that the car does not lurch forward. The driver then releases the clutch pedal, allowing the engine to turn the wheels. The transmission Piston engines work most efficiently at relatively high speeds, so gears are necessary to reduce this to the slower rotational speed needed for the car's wheels. Each gear gives a different range of speeds. First gear is normally selected to get a car moving. Drive shaft In a rear-wheel drive car, a long drive shaft connects the transmission to the rear wheels. In a front-wheel drive car, the engine sits above the front wheels and turns them via a short drive shaft, differential, and half shafts. The differential During a turn, the wheel on the outside has to travel farther than the inside wheel, and so the outer wheel has to turn faster. A differential, which is attached midway between the two wheels, allows this to happen. Steering The simplest steering systems in cars rely on a type of gear mechanism called a rack and pinion. Turning a car's steering wheel rotates a pinion, a small, round gear. Its teeth engage the teeth on a flat bar called a rack. When the pinion turns, it moves the rack sideways and turns the wheels. In a car with power steering, high-pressure oil or electric motors help to move the rack. Braking. Most cars have disc brakes. A disc is fixed to each wheel, and when the wheel spins, so does the disc. When the driver presses the brake pedal, hydraulic fluid forces brake pads, mounted on calipers, to push against the disc to slow the wheel down. So there you have it. 
We hope that you learned something new. If you enjoyed the video please like, comment, subscribe and share with someone that you know. We'll see you in the next video.